welcome back to Poisonous Youth Poetry and this one is presenting Poisonous Truth and of course I'm not writing solo, I'm writing with Sam and I am Tay Sav. Uh, just a nigga from the land came up with your tight jeans. Uh, no, no, I keep it fitted. Come take a pic of a nigga. Boy, do you feel cause I feel like you ain't ready for things we're about to achieve? Boy, are you in this? I need the assurance cause I'm thinking longevity. What's up everybody, boy man, young man, young man, Kelly boy, Kelly Matan, and I'm here. Welcome back to the Boys and Us Youth Poetry Presents The Poisonous Truth with my good friend, one of my best friends. This is Taysa, she's an artist, she is... Musician. I mean like, that's... that's Blogger. Okay. Gender-based violence activist. <laughs> You know? And the list is endless. The list is endless, bro. <laughs> the list is endless. So yeah, uh, she's about to grill your boy. Okay, so here we are, and ma'am has some questions. She has some questions for me, <laughs> and so we out here. I hope I answer them honestly, but I am an honest person. You know, I can lie. That I can do for sure. But uh, because it's the poisonous truth I must tell the, the truth, truth you know so just give me a second I'm gonna put him on a frying pan <laughs> hand on the bible I swear to tell the truth nothing but the truth so let's get in there. let's do this okay let's start light let's not get too deep it's too soon so my first question is, do you think you are an introvert or an extrovert? <laughs> because, um, guys, for those who don't know, Sam and I have been friends for almost two years now. Yeah. Two years. So it's hard to establish whether he's an introvert or an extrovert. Because I feel like he, he shows different personalities. <laughs> <laughs> so please yeah. tell okay. the world. Me. Me, I'm an introvert, but uh, let me tell you one thing about me, yeah? If, if you can get me comfortable around you, bro, then we can make it work, you know? So, like, if I'm comfortable around you, it means that I'm comfortable within my own self around you, and that actually helps me, like, you know, ease into that dynamic. So, um, some people say I'm an ambivert, which is both intro and extro, but I am... I'm an introvert, so like I'm, I'm very socially awkward. Um, I never make the first move <laughs> most of the time, and I've lost I've lost a lot of girls because of that. But yeah, um, I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. <laughs> so <laughs> disclosure vibes. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any phobias? Do I have any phobias? Mm. I'm afraid of frogs. No lie, I'm afraid of frogs. Yeah. When Those it, are the sweetest. When it rains outside, wait, okay, after it rains outside, I never go outside because I know that there's gonna be frogs outside. So yeah, uh, I'm afraid of frogs, bro. But we hardly ever see frogs. I don't wanna take any chances. It's a phobia for a reason. I'm afraid of frogs. I'm afraid of frogs. Which world do you live in? <laughs> <laughs> that has frogs. Oh hey. I'm not a frog person. So, Alright. Yeah. We're getting deep now. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm you ready. were born ready. I'm ready. Right. Let's do this. So, what is one simple change in habit that can have a huge positive, positive impact in your life? That one, one habitual change that you can just. Uh, network, you know. network. Sorry. <laughs> Which network. one is this one now? <laughs> Which one is this one now? Okay, okay. Ask the question again. Like, what is that habitual, uh, habitual thing mm -hmm. that you could change? And it could make this huge positive impact in your life. In my life? Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Um, whew, there's a few. A habitual change that I feel like... I think it's it's actually like pointing out things when I see them. You know? It's a bad thing, you know? Because now yeah, that person it's, it's... ends up making this huge ass mistake. And you saw it. Instead of saying something about it just keep quiet and then watch them destroy themselves you know so i think that's one pointing things out 
oh. as I see them in that actual moment. So yeah, yeah, that is one habit that I think I need to, you know. So yeah. Next question. Mm-hmm. So, what lesson did you learn the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually like that's actually simple. Um, trusting my instinct or trusting God, you know, because like, um. I've lost a lot of people, a lot of great people who could have, you know, you could have had something special, but I decided that, you know what, nah, my homies are probably right, you know, or this person is probably right, I shouldn't do this. And then I ended up not benefiting from that. So it's, it's one of those things, it's like, I, sh- I should have listened to that feeling inside. So like now it's like, I listen to my spirit now more often. I think. I learned to listen to my spirit. That was one of the hardest lessons for me. It's like, yo, yeah, yeah, that, that, that I think it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm afraid of the next question already. <laughs> <laughs> Am I too deep? <laughs> Am I too deep? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Too deep? yeah. No, but but I cool. told you, I, I came it's prepared. Cool. I came prepared. Nah, really you know, cool. like my t shirt says, thank you, next. <laughs> okay. So, why do you think men change after marriage? The metimo. The metimo. The metimo. Wakam, wakam. That I feel like this is what I meant by I'm about to pull a Steve Harvey. Okay. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, like, okay, men lie, women lie, but men lie. Yeah, they lie. So, what kind of a person are you in a relationship? Sell yourself. Ladies? Ladies? This one is for you. I'm doing this for girl power, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sell yourself.